Greetings, true believers. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Well, more of a comparison review. Today, I'll be taking a look at both versions of Captain America Sam Wilson figure from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the Marvel Select, and the Marvel Legends version. The Marvel Select is made by Diamond Select, and the Marvel Legends is made by Hasbro. So let's take a look at each other's packaging. So let's start off with the Marvel Legends version. The Legends, just the usual Marvel Legends packaging. You can see the window exposing the figure and his accessories. The Falcon, the Winter Soldier, Captain America, Disney Plus. On side, a cool image of Captain America himself. The new Captain America on the other side, same thing. On the back, here's a bio about Captain America, Sam Wilson. Go ahead, pause the review. And there's other Disney Plus figures that you want to collect. So that's about it for the packaging for the Marvel Legends version. Now let's look at the Diamond Select version. As you can see, the Diamond Select version is just a usual Marvel Select packaging. You see the window exposing the figure and his accessories. You get the name and you get the Disney Store logo right there. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier logo. On the, on the back, you see the image of the figure. So there's nothing much else. So anyway, let's release both versions of Captain America out of their package. Here are both versions of Sam Wilson and Captain America out of their packaging. Face to face, toe to toe, and nose to nose. Well, probably, well, probably uh, Sam Wilson Cap is looking at his alter ego, his um, counterpart's chest. Anyway, let's look at the Marvel Legends first. The Marvel Legends figure. Take a look at the head sculpt. I'd say they did really a not too bad a job capturing the likeness to Anthony Mackie. Even though it's covering goggles, you can actually a little bit see the eyes there. You can actually see that. But it's still a really a not too bad looking head sculpt. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. This is the first time I own a Falcon figure. Well... Well, this, I would say that, like, um, I don't know, third time I own a Captain America figure and the first time I own a Falcon figure. So, yeah, interesting. Yeah, I'd say the head sculpt again is still not bad. Now, take a look at the outfit, his whole outfit here. Yeah, they did really a great job with this outfit. I, they did really, a, Hasbro did a really a great job with this. And you can see his shield there. And you can see like both hands. And you can see like one sort of opening, holding the the shield, and the other doing like the dramatic repulsive hand pose. You can see some of the armor there, and also there you can see the closed wings there. And you can see some silver painting there, and you get star on on his chest. You can see some sculpted details and texturings on both sides. You get the knee pads, and you could like. The boots there, silver and red boots, which I'm not sure is very accurate to the TV show, which I'm going to show you that in a minute. This piece is removable. You can actually see the peg hole on the back. And also you can actually put the, uh, the cap shield on. Well, not really. Oh, oh yeah. I really wish there's like some sort of a peg hole here. Like if you have the John F. Walker Captain America figure, you're probably going to like put the shield if this pack has the peg hole. And on the bottom, there's two peg holes in the bottom of the feet and some legal leaves too. Overall, for the Marvel Legends figure, it's I really do love this figure, but I'm not sure about the boots. It's very accurate. Maybe it's part of the concept art or, or he really does have silver boots i don't know i forgot but still a really a great a, a really a great looking figure now let's go with the the diamond select version the head sculpt i'd say well it's it's um it's you know just a sculpted head sculpt but not like the facial technique like the hasbro marvel legend does yeah, but it's still a really a not too bad at all. A very decent likeness to Sam, to Anthony Mackie. And take a look at the body. Yeah, they did really a not too bad of a job with his um Captain America outfit. Very, very well done indeed. 
not too bad at all. You can see the, I forgot to mention, the Marvel Legends has the star logo, so does the Diamond Select version. And just like the Marvel Legends version, it has like the, um, this backpack with the wings, and you removed it. And there's like the peg right here in the hole there. I'm not sure that the peg belongs in the back. Maybe it's like that. I don't know. And take a look at the belt. They did really not too bad of a job with the belt. You can see some of the gloves. Has some nice metallic paint on the gloves. And you can see some sculpted details and some texturing. And you get the knee pads sculpted on. Uh, take a look at the boots. You get the silver and red coloring on the boots pad. And you can see he is wearing black shoes or black boots. I think those are black boots with some silver bars on the shoelaces area there, which I'm not sure if it's very accurate. I don't know. Leave, leave me know in the comments down below if it's very accurate in the Marvel Legends version. And on the bottom, there's two pickles on the bottom of the feet and some legalese too. Overall, for this Captain America Marvel Select figure, I'd say they did really a great job. Diamond Select did a great job with this. The head sculpt, well, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. But i say they still did a great job with this head sculpt. And, man, his feet are a bit loose. So I might easily remove both feet and use super glue. Articulation. The Marvel Legends articulation has the head rotation. Up and down, and there's like a little bit of neck rotation joint there. Well, I'm not gonna force it. I don't wanna break this figure. The arms do go fully rotate and does go in and out. It doesn't go all the way in and out because it's hindered by the shoulder pad. There's some ro upper arm rotation, double joint and elbows. <sighs> there we go. The wrist do rotate and also the hinge. There's some ab crunch movement, waist rotation, legs kick forward and back, in and out, upper leg rotation, double jointed elbows as he's kick his own. Nope, he does not kick his own behind, sadly. Aw. The angles to go pivot forward back and ankle pivot side to side. Yikes, I don't want to break this, so I need to like, fix something with the legs. Overall, for the Marvel Legends version, standard Marvel Legends articulation, but you could still give him some crazy pose abilities. And for the Diamond Select version, head, rotation, dumbbell joint, pivot or back, side to side. Arms do go fully rotate and does go in and out. And look, the shoulder pad is made of soft plastic material, so you can actually go all the way. Upper arm rotation. Single jointed elbows, rotate the wrist, hinge side to side, chest rotation, forward and back, in and out, waist, legs kick forward and back, in and out, upper leg rotation, double jointed knee, nope, he does not kick his own behind either. Rotation the feet and ankle pivot forward back and side to side, ankle pivot, yep. I would say the Diamond Select version does have more articulation than, than Marvel Select version, so I would get, give him points. Accessories for the Marvel Legends version. He does come with some, well, one accessory. He does, the Marvel Legends comes with his shield. That's it. And also that backpack piece here. Yep. But if you collect the entire Disney Plus wave, if you count this as an accessory, he does come with his wings, the alternate wings, and and red wing. Yep. Which has some nice articulation to it. So you can post them around and nice sculpting details on the wings. So all you have to do is you take off the um this backpack here, and then you put the uh Let's see, the hole, and there we go. Now you have Captain America Sam Wilson with wings. And also you can actually take off the stand and display him like on your ceiling. And plus there's a peg hole for the stand. Or if you want to use the, the Captain America John F. Walker 
shield, you can do that. But I'm probably not going to do that. I'm just going to display him with the, um, with the, um, with the shield. And put red wing here that came with a flight stand. Which is the problem is that it sometimes fall off when you pose him around. Pose it around like this area here. I really wish like it has some peg hole on there instead of just a... Oh, I don't know. This simple peg. Look, there, there it goes. See? Yep. I have no idea why Hasbro has done that. It makes me feel like I want to super glue this red right wing onto it. Yeah, this sh yeah, maybe I'll just like give him like a little bit of points for the Marvel Legends version. But for the Diamond Select version, not only he does come with his shield, which has some nice metallic paint to it. I really like that. But he does come with the alternate hands, interchangeable hands. You get the like these open palm hands and the gun accessory. The gun holding hand, which he does not come with any guns. Probably can use it for holding on the shield. The red wing, which does have the display stand. Interesting. I have no idea why. Why Diamond Select? Why you didn't include this into a, a display stand? Or anything else? But, he does come with wings that the Marvel Legends does not. Now that's interesting for Dim Diamond Select. So all I have to do is you pop this thing out, and then you take this thing off. Oh, by the way, if you if it's if you can't put the wings on there, so it's a piece stiff, so use a hair dryer to soft the plastic on the shield. And then oh, oh yep, he falls down because he has it. Loose joints. I'm probably gonna fix that with a super glue after this review. And then put the figure here, and there we go. Now you have Sam Wilson with the wings on here. Yeah, pretty cool looking. But it doesn't have like any articulation, just like the Marvel Legends version, which I'm probably skill give him give him like one point more for the wings articulation. But let's just say the winner, the real winner for this uh, figure is, well, I'm going to go with the Diamond Select version. I mean, come on. The wings are included. The, um, every, every accessory is included. Everything is included. But for the Marvel Legends version, I still really like this figure. But again, well, well, you had to buy the entire wave to build the wings. Yeah, sadly. Well, I know there is a... A Marvel Legends Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture figure, which is a Target exclusive with that came with wings, which is a deluxe. I'm pretty sure maybe later in the future Hasbro is gonna do the same thing with the Captain America figure. Hell, they probably did make a Captain Mer another the same Captain America Sam Wilson figure two pack with the um, C Rogers Captain America, which is kind of lazy that include that it did not include the, the wings, but it does include the hands, which is still not enough. At the end of the day, it's still, the Marvel Legends version is still a, a good figure, but I'm still going to go with the, the Diamond Select version. Even though the head sculpt, it's a little bit, it's not as perfect as the uh, Marvel Legends version. The wings is not articulated, but it has some, a little bit more articulation to the, um, to it. But the, um, well, the Hasbro does have the double jointed elbows, but the Marvel Select does not. And I really, well, I still think it's a really a good figure. Nonetheless, let's say more accessories, everything else. Yeah, highly recommend getting this figure. I'm pretty sure he's still available at your at the Disney Store website. Maybe you can get him. Anyway, for my rate, I'm gonna give the Sam Wilson Falcon figure, the Marvel Legends version, a no. I'm just gonna give him a 9.5 out of 10. And for the Marvel Select version, I'm probably gonna give him a 10 out of 10. Cause come on, look at this figure. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my review or my comparison. If you like this, if you, if which one do you like the more, the Marvel Select or the Diamond Select? I mean, the Marvel Select and the Mar or the Marvel Legends. Leave in the comments down below which one's better. Don't, 
make sure to tune in for make sure to tune in and now and turn on the bell icon to be notified if you're new please hit the subscribe and also follow me on instagram and twitter both links will be in the description down below that's all i have to say these are the marvel legends and marvel select captain america sam wilson from the falcon and the winter soldier both are Marvel Legends versions made by Hasbro and the Diamond Select versions made by, well, Diamond Select. And this is J8R369. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.